I was um, living in New York City, and um, David Cronenberg and Ivan Reitman approached me with a project that I remember it being called the Parasite Complex, but no one else seems to remember that, so I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I imagined that or not. But, um, but I read it, and I thought it was really, you know, cutting edge and, um, you know, definitely pushed the boundaries of horror in a different way. Uh, the first, I think, movie ever to, to show body horror. So I uh, absolutely wanted to do it. I like to choose parts that I think are going to be challenging. Um, I liked the fact that she, she actually is the heroine of the film. Uh, so I, I, I think the audience is rooting for her and hoping that she you know, will get to succeed. Uh, and you know, and win. And but the interesting thing was was that I actually was not supposed to be in the swimming pool scene. I was not scheduled to be in that scene. And they they had sent me back to New York. And then I guess they all got together and talked it over, and they decided that it would be a really good idea for me to be in the scene and to give um, Paul Hampton the parasite at the end. So that really rounded the whole film off for me when I see it because that, that particular scene in the swimming pool is, I think, my all-time favorite image of me in a film. I, I just love that close-up as I'm coming towards him in the pool. I just think it's so, uh, such a, a great mixture of sensuality and um, evil and kind of curiosity. And, you know, it just has so many things you know, going on with that, the character in that particular moment. It was very early in all of our careers. So we were all, I think at that point, uh, really just so energized and so interested in, in creating, you know, this piece of work. And, and David, you know, David was wonderful. I mean, he was very supportive and very patient. We had a lot of night shoots, you know, that you know, went all night, you know, so there was, you know, we were, we were sort of tired, you know, from that. And, um, but David was, you know, he was great. I mean, he had wonderful ideas and he was open to your ideas, which was, was marvelous. So, you know, we would discuss, you know, what he thought we should do, or I would have an idea of what I thought we should do. And whoever had the better idea, you know, we would do that. So it was really a collaboration and, again, a wonderful experience to get to work with David Cronenberg so early on. There was a moment working with David where I uh, opened the door of my apartment and the, this guy rushes in and he starts to attack and rape me. And I have the, uh, the, the big fork cooking utensil in my hand. And um, I, I, I guess they wanted to do a close-up you know, of the fork going into the guy's shoulder, so, uh, for, but they didn't want to use the guy, so David volunteered to do it. So they, you know, they put a little padding on him so that, you know, I could hit, you know, hit it with the fork, but, you know, I had to be screaming, you know, and all that stuff, you know, to, to, to like, get into it, and so when I came down with the fork, I completely missed the padding, and I went right into his arm. So that was, you know, one of my, my big memories, you know, of, of, that, um, of that moment. He was, again, he was great about it, and they don't, don't even have the close-up in the movie. So um, I think we did it again, and the second time I did, you know, hit the mark. When I was first in New York City, like in every, um, every period of time for an actor, it was very difficult to get started. And I had um, seen an ad in uh, this paper called Backstage, and this movie was listed that was casting. And so I went to the audition, and I met David Durston, who directed I Drink Your Blood. And he, you know, I was actually the very last person that showed up that day, and he said, oh, he said, oh, my God, the, uh, the movie, I, I've already cast all the roles. But he said, but I must have you. You're so beautiful. I must have you. So I, you know, I didn't really know if he was being truthful or not. But a couple of days later, he called me and said, uh, I have a part for you in the movie. You're going to play a mute. And that way I don't have to write any more lines you know, for the script. 
So I was cast and I drink your blood. And then from that point, I just sort of, um, you know, I, then I got Romero's The Crazies. And then I think from I drink your blood and The Crazies, then I was cast in, in Shivers. And then later I was cast in Cat People. Um, and, and at this point, of course, because I am just, I'm kind of a, you know, a, a genre uh, horror scream queen, now, of course, I get offers to do that particular type of film. But I'm, I'm very pleased. I mean, I love to do horror. It's great. And I, I've gotten to do so many different, you know, kinds, you know, playing the victim and the crazy person, you know, and the killer and, you know, just so, so many different roles. So it's a, it's a wonderful genre to be involved in. And I truly love it.